What's up guys, War here. Today we're gonna go over the Barbarian class on what you can upgrade for your legendary weapon and then how to spend your Kadala Blood Shards in the start of season 27. Let's hop right into it. So as you guys know, you guys have been giving a lot of support on these videos to the, you know, they give you a really good start. But I want to clarify something when it comes to the challenge rift that I talk about in each video to get these rewards that I'm popping up on screen now. Remember, when the new season comes out, you want to wait until the new season comes out, then complete the challenge rift to get these rewards. If you do it before that, you're not going to get them. So I just want to clarify, make sure you wait until the new season starts. New season starts, do your challenge rift, then you get the rewards and you can create your character. Okay, the Barbarian actually has a lot of options, guys, when it comes to upgrading your weapons. So you have you have a lot of choices here. So first, I want to start off with the oddball choices in a way, and it's the spear. You have two options when you upgrade with the spear. You got a Treats Law, and then you have the 300 spear. Now, both of these spears are actually weapons that you're going to need for the Raycors build if you are going to play Raycors. But in Season 27, the Whirlwind Barb or the Hoda Barb is going to be your better option. But you do have these. These are good options. So Atreus Law is going to give you Weapon Throw and Ancient Spear deal uh, up to 200% increased da damage. And you get Weapon Throw at 17. You get Ancient Spear at 26. So it's it's okay. It's not the best, but it is an option. Then you have the 300 Spear, which increases the damage of Weapon Throw and Ancient Spear again. And increases the attack speed of Weapon Throw. So again, if you guys wanted to do something a little bit different than Two-Handed Mighty Weapons, Spears are the way to go. But I personally would upgrade a two-handed mighty weapon because you have four really good options here and all of them will just propel you all the way to 70 no problem. So the first one is the gavel of judgment. Your hammer of the ancients is increased by a crap ton of damage as you guys can see up to 800%. Then you have the fury of the vanquish peak. I was actually rolling this and upgrading and we got a primal ancient which is kind of crazy but uh you have fury of the ancient peak or the vanished peak increased uh reduce the fury cost or fury cost of uh seismic slam and increases it damage by 500 percent. huge okay two very easy upgrades here if you guys get these because you get hammer of the ancients and seismic slam real quick so you get seismic slam at 12 and you get hammer of the ancients at two so both of those options are very, very good if you happen to roll these. Remember, RNG plays a factor, so if you don't get it, you know, you get something else. It's okay. Don't panic. The third one is the Blade of the Tribes. War Cry and Threatening Shout cause Avalanche and Earthquake and do increased damage. So War Cry and where is it? Where is it? So you have War Cry and Threatening Shout. 14 and 28. 14 is, I mean, it's kind of late. But, you know, this is still a really good option because you're casting two things would help deal a lot of damage. And then the last one is the, the Basins Revered. I think I said that wrong. Basins? I think it's Basins Revered. But Frenzy stacks up to 10 times and hits an additional enemy and it'll chain. So this is a really good option. I think it's the weakest one out of the three. You definitely want to get the Gavel of Judgment or the Fury of the Vanished Peak first because it's just the easiest. It just applies a straight damage buff to skills that you can just use right off the rip. You don't need anything crazy. So Warcry and Threatening Shout, both good. But again, same thing with Atreus Law and Hundred Spear. The skills come a little bit later, so you don't get these abilities right off the bat. And then Basis Reserved is definitely going to be the last one. So those are the options i think for the weapons all really good all really good things you know you may start off slower here on the back end but if you get one of these two right in the beginning then you're set all the way to 70. now how to spend our blood charts the the barbarian actually has two of the best options the only thing that you're going to roll is bracers okay bracers for the first men and then bracers of destruction both of these are fantastic options okay Bracers of the first uh, first men, Hammer of the Ancients has 50% increased attack speed and does more damage. So if you combine that with the Gavel of Judgment, you get this two-piece combo, and then you're just annihilating everything to 70. The next one is Bracers of Destruction. Size of Slam does increase damage. So if you have Fury plus the Bracers of Destruction, you have a two-piece combo again that just annihilates. So hopefully you guys get these paired up, but the Bracers are guaranteed the better options. Even if you were to get one of these back-end axes or, excuse me, Mighty Weapons or even the Spears, having one of these two is definitely going to excel your leveling process even faster. Now, if you get these really quick, you do have one more option that you can get at level one, and it is the Band of Might. Now, the Band of Might is going to give you increased, or excuse me, reduced damage reduction for 8 seconds when you're doing a number of different abilities. 
So this is still a really good option. It's a very low chance at getting it super early, but if you do, it'll help keep you alive. But again, the Barbarian is already tanky and you have such good weapon options. And with these bracers, you probably wouldn't need Band of Might unless you felt like you were squishy, but you should be doing so much damage that you probably don't need this. But you do have that option to get it. You know, they are 50 a piece, so it could be really hard when you only have 475 blood shards to spend. But you want to try to get one of these two items here, and then you want to roll for bracers always. After that, again, guys, you could always go for the crown. You could always go for something different, but definitely get both of these bracers. They're really good. You could even roll for both of these, and then once you get enough, you know, uh, mats after extracting one of these powers you could extract the opposite one in there as your armor power just an option but that's going to do it for the barbarian guys on the best start on what to upgrade and roll for with kadala so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like as always and if you're new here be sure to subscribe guys all the support has been fantastic we got a couple more classes to knock out um uh, by tomorrow i think we're gonna have those up but thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you in the next one peace